Hi guys, it's Tanny Lee Davis. I wanted to get a give a recap on what happened with the train situation, just so some of you can keep up with this drama that I've been dealing with for oh, 15 years that I've been coming to the UK. Anyway, um, so this week I was working in, uh, or on Saturday night I was working in Scunthorpe, which is on the uh, east coast, sort of directly across from Manchester. And Trans Pennine trains only services that area. They go back and forth, east coast, west coast. And I've traveled with them before, and I have had the same issues where they refused to let me on the train, but that was years ago. And honestly, I haven't been bothered since. The scooter card is just a ridiculous thing. The, the idea is they want you to basically either um, do a trial, like to see that you can drive up and down the ramps. They're saying that the ramps are too steep for my scooter. It's like the, my local train company, I have to go up way steeper, like on the old trains of Great Air Angley, the the, it was just ridiculous. It just doesn't make any sense that certain companies, because they're all privatized, I can't use the train line because of their issues. So the basically the policy with TransPennine is they want you to take apart your scooter and carry each piece on like luggage. I'm sorry, but that's unrealistic. That is ridiculous. These rules were made years ago. They're archaic. They need to be completely redone. I mean, people like me with the small scooters, not a problem. It's usually human error and people need to take responsibility. So that's where I'm at. I'm very frustrated because I just don't, I've been campaigning on behalf of disabled people and scooter users for three years now and it's done not one bit of good. The train companies were supposed to have everything modified by December 31st um, of 2019 and they came out the night before and said, oh sorry, um, we're going to give the train companies an extension, the ones that aren't compliant. But there's no consequences, no. So the UK loves their extensions. Once again, I'm starting an extension rebellion. So they keep saying that it's for my health and safety. Yet my mental health is in question every single time I travel on the train. My anxiety levels are ridiculous. I have no other options. I'm not paying for taxis. I have a God-given right to get on the trains like anybody else. So it's ridiculous that these train companies and the staff cannot see with their own eyes um, the people's potential. I don't like to be told no. I'm a very independent person and it is so frustrating living in this country where every day it's you're told no, 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 you can't do that, you're disabled. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. Um, I've made a decision by the end of this year, 2020, I'm moving back to the States um, for my own mental being, well-being, and same with my partners because we just... It's ridiculous. I'll still keep coming back to the UK because trust me, you you people need to know, you need to laugh. Um, but I just won't be coming back as often. So I really appreciate everybody's support. So that's where we're at. Um, you know, I just don't know what else to do. I'm just going to keep recording and, and talking about my training experiences if anybody cares because, um, you know, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, thank you all for your support, my, uh, for the support. I appreciate it. And uh, check out tinyleesdavis.com and the hashtag scooter girl campaign on facebook thanks a lot guys